Hello and welcome to the Heresy Lodge. I'm your host, Dylan Cooper, the Constant Coast over here. Gavin Franklin. And guys, we are in person. We are here. Gavin doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm just making sure. I don't know. It's the first time we've been in person in a while. So is the mic on? See? I I just didn't know it was fine. It was two-way. It was going that direction and this direction, but I made it all directions because just you're an in idiot. Just in case I go over here. Yeah, in case sure. you do dumb things. I forgot how mics work. Uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> but guys, we are here for the end of the death of the podcast, volume three. We're here. It's the final of, this is, of the volumes. This is it. This is the end. This is the death. I was really looking when I, I, I went to the liquor store for this to find something to drink. I was really looking for something. That kind of spelled out relief. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't find it. The closest thing I saw was a, a bourbon called Redemption. I was like, eh, who knows? Nothing redeemed. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> there are no redeeming qualities. Oh, no, how do we spend that one? <laughs> yeah. I also think this is episode 170, which is kind of crazy that we're ending on uh, an even number. Nuts. Could have been 172. That would... No- well, that's also an even number. I know. But what if it was 171? That wouldn't make any fucking sense. That's I not mean, the end of the death. That's you have to complete the circle. That'd be insane. Circles if, can't be odd. If we were GW, we'd just make a volume four, honestly. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Something doesn't add up here. Yeah. But here we are. Here we are. Um, so things we're talking about this episode. We are going to talk about the future of the podcast mm-hmm. and what that means. Um, we'll talk the TV show. Maybe just shoot some shit. Uh, we're going to drink, of course. Doing a lot of drinking. Anytime we get in person. My wife hates it. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> but yeah, it'll be a good time. As always, I was hoping. So in celebration of us starting our next chapter, I was going to have to do a logo. It is not ready yet. Ooh. But soon we will have a new logo posted. I'll put that in the Discord. New logo means new merch. So we'll have that posted as well. Dang. But for all those details, set us up on the Discord. Find that pin to our X at the Her- or at Heresy Lodge. Email us at theheresylodge at gmail.com. Check us out on YouTube at the Heresy Lodge. Merch store will be in the notes. It'll probably be, I would say, probably guess a week before we see new merch and stuff like that. But we'll see when our artist finishes the work. I like that, though. It gives me something to look forward to. It lets me know, hey, we're done with the Horus Heresy. But a new logo, that's new life. Yeah, new new pod. Same name, new story. Mm-hmm. Um, and the cool thing is, this is not that our, our other logos are awesome. This The person that's doing it, I went to school with him. He actually does like professional podcasting. Like he interviews NBA players and like stuff like that. And like a big thing is the graphic design on mm-hmm. the, all the stuff. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I'm 100% positive. That the person who invented our first logo does not listen to the podcast. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I he actually was the person that introduced me and my fiance. <laughs> hey. Yeah. At least we have memories. There we go. <laughs> we'll keep that logo right in the back. I still have the banner. Yeah, the banner's cool. The banner's still around. Yeah, we you might see that one day, guys. Never <laughs> used it. We used it like twice. Yeah. Well, there, there's never like got no way yeah, that was the problem. We should have we should have got to stand with the banner. What we needed is we needed more people to buy merch so we could have a studio. Oh, a whole studio. Yeah. That's... Guys, buy merch. We can get a studio. We can ha- have banners. We I would can... have felt so bad. We probably won't have guests, but we'll have each other. <laughs> uh, we were going to have guests until we shit talk all of the authors. And then none of them. The only one, uh, ADB, we loved him a lot. Yeah. And Chris Rape. I wonder if there's like a. I really do feel like there's an email chain. No, nah, I mean it's a group chat. A, gr- a group <laughs> chat. They text each other like, "Man, the Heresy Lodge motherfuckers." Graham, I can't called me <laughs> a piece of shit who can't write. <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. No one ever got called a piece of shit. <laughs> I imagine it's like Graham. You asked, "Why did you get on that podcast?" Can't believe you told them that his space marines were equipped to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Graham's like. 
but they are. I mean, <laughs> that's how I run. <laughs> what were you I guys? Can't help you guys didn't think of it. Trust me, I've got like a whole bunch of commissioned art in my basement. <laughs> they <laughs> are equipped to fuck. <laughs> but I, I guarantee you, there's like a, a ban on uh, the hair swatch. Probably there. We're probably uh marked there's a reason graham didn't want to see us at gen con when he came yeah i'm also like sometimes nervous to whenever i went to events this was like back when i played more hair <laughs> <laughs> never to like say i was from the hair so it's just in case not that i'm we're like famous in the community but, but... there might be that one guy <laughs> oh you guys are assholes <laughs> maybe yeah maybe so so let's let's talk a warhammer first um you haven't been playing a lot. Have you been keeping up at all with the changes? Anything like that? You, you know, beat us late recently. I have not. Here's the thing about tenth edition, and it maybe maybe it was the same in ninth. Maybe I'm just wrong. But I went, I sat down, and I played a game with Connor recently. Our, our good friend Connor. He doesn't play, so I had to teach him how to play. And damn, it was fucking rough. <laughs> and I got. <laughs> I wasn't like first off, I skipped a whole turn in order and like without him knowing. That's how complicated it is. <laughs> and it's just like at for a new player, it's intense. Yeah. But even for a like I played for three editions. And I'm like, wow, this is a lot. Yeah. Because you need your index cards. You need the rule book. You need the chapter approved deck. Uh, you need the tournament compendium. You need the Munitorm field manual. And all of those have updates or FAQs. Yep. It's insane. Oh, wait. Also, time out. We're drinking things. Oh, that's a very important part. Yeah, this is the only thing you guys want to care about. Yeah, they were uh, like, oh, shit. Where's the alcohol? First, th so we have two things here. We have a beer and we have a mead. But this is, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call this a beer. This is hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's 14.4%. Yeah, it's the Old Stock Ale. And uh, the Cellar Reserve. I have no idea where this is from. Uh, right here. North. North Coast Brewing. Ooh. I mean, it's in like a, like a wine bottle type of thing. I got it because it looked kind of cool. I didn't know. I was looking for some mead. What you got? But the liquor store only had me that we've had on the on the podcast, which is fine. I feel like Viking Blood was one of the first ones we had, so I think it's it brought back memories. Appropriate to finish our Warhammer journey with some some Viking, some blood. strong mead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, next one is our Viking Blood mead. So I yeah, it, it's just getting too complicated, and I I feel like the game itself isn't very fun it's really not right now and it, it's take it takes too long and i've had this conversation with you like i'm i'm trying to develop my own rule set yeah uh that that cuts a lot of the things out i'm more interested now in house rules which a lot of people don't like but i feel like you know uh Auspex tactics you're familiar with them yep. he just posted a poll he does a lot of polls and uh he said how many games for hammer do you play right now? And three percent of people said more than once a week, and about fifteen percent of people said once a week. Well, if you think about it, though, it's you're looking at anywhere between. Really, you're looking at a minimum three hours between travel, setup. It's a six-hour deal. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Like, like I have a kid, right? So mm -hmm. if I want to do it, I have to plan pretty much my whole my whole day. Especially if it's if I'm playing with you, like. You're either coming down here or I'm going up there or we're meeting you somewhere in the middle, which really is in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, and then setup takes 30 minutes, probably. And if the game's not enjoyable. Yeah, if someone's just getting smashed, it's not fun. Or even if it's <laughs> like you're forgetting every rule because there's a mountain to look through. Yeah. Not fun. No. Um, I just, yeah, I'm not a fan of addition. I'm sure... Look, I'm sure I'll get into it at some point again. Like, GW has a history of kind of going up and down for a lot of people. Yeah. And it's not even that... I'm not going to say that the game's bad. It's just not appealing to me at the time. Yeah. The problem is, is a time commitment. It's a big time commitment. And this... What's weird is 10th edition... 
is less of a time commitment than ninth edition. But maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's because ninth edition was just a lot more loose in the army building yeah. sector, where 10th edition is like, Ariman has a different rule set than Ariman on disc. Which is really I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got a plan for the disc. Yeah. But yeah, that's been kind of rough. I'm sure we'll get back into it at some point. I, I don't know if we've ever had this conversation on the podcast, but do do our viewers know how we got into Warhammer? I don't think so. What was your your introduction? I know I know what your introduction. So was. my original introduction to Warhammer was Dawn of War two. Um, our friend Connor, Dark Crusade. I think it was the Dark Crusade. There's a lot. I don't. I, don't remember I think it was Dark Crusade, but he had he had the computer game. I loved it, and he was like, "Hey, you want to check out this game?" And we sat there and we played Dawn of War 2. Was this the one where you had like a map and you had to conquer parts of the map? I think so. That sounds right. As uh, During the campaign. I mean, the whole thing was an RTS. I don't think we played the campaign. Dude, I was addicted to the campaign. I really think that like the campaign to Dark Crusade is like my, it's my, it's, it's what I'm looking for today, <laughs> looking for a video game. The way it worked was you chose a faction. You had your Necrons, your Blood Angels, your Tau, your Chaos, uh, your Space, or uh, well, not Space Marines, like humans, yeah. Imperial Guard, Orcs. And you had a leader, and it was some famous leader from the war. But you'd go and you'd conquer a map, each, and there were regions in each one. And each region had like a difficulty for you to take it over. Mm-hmm. And what you would do is RTS. So you would build your base, and the more shit you built, the more powerful the defense was. Right. When you left it, um, but each campaign region too, you'd get like war gear for your main dude, and they'd become more powerful to where there was just like gods on the battlefield. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that was so great. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I actually got into Warhammer younger than that though. Um, but it, my first one was with the the miniature game. It's the first time I ever really? uh, introduced Warhammer. I had a neighbor at the time who just loved Warhammer, was into Blood Angels, and like I just saw him playing with it. There was like a Space Marine sniper at the time. I was like, that's the coolest fucking thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a miniature dude with a gun. Buck Power Rangers, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> His armor it kills people. <laughs> the Power Rangers have never Power killed Lex. anybody. It's insane. <laughs> And like, and then I saw Slanesh demons. And I'm fucking hooked. I'm horny and <laughs> very interested. Also, very <laughs> horny. <laughs> um, but yeah, they. Uh, I, I tried to build some orcs. <laughs> Man, that, that shit struck. Yeah, it is. I tried to tried to build some orcs. Didn't work out. <laughs> <We're down. laughs> uh, I I got like the starter box where the, I had the orc truck and some regular orcs, and now. I think I would never play orcs. I think it might be one of the last faction I ever played. Last faction I would ever play. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking through it. I'll Honestly, think... maybe... Maybe squats? Yeah, Votan is not... That's definitely like, what they're just, on the like, list. least interested. To me, the ones that I'm like, I really don't have a huge desire to play are Mechanicum, Votan, Sisters. Um, honestly, Grey Knights. I I don't think Grey Knights are that. Cool. Grey Knights are fucking cool. Fuck you, man. They teleport there. and shit. You're telling me, would you put Tao on the list? I feel like Tao. I'd play Tao. Tao's pretty sick. I mean, I like anime. Don't, don't <laughs> say that. You're making me feel so bad for playing Tao. Yeah, I want my waifu, Shadow Sun. <laughs> oh, she's, I just, I painted Shadow Sun not too long ago. She's pretty nice. I just built Fish Farsight. Sun. Pretty sick. <laughs> Farsight's pretty hot. <laughs> I cannot open this. You're really well. They, it, you don't do it that way. It's Super, got a. I ripped it off already. It didn't go all the way. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's fucked, man. <laughs> well, I think that's a sign. We're done. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we'll get back into to Warhammer at some point. I They started releasing Old World. Yeah. And I, what's really dumb about it, <laughs> if anyone's watching on YouTube right now, <laughs> This is, we can't open it, man. This is a spectacle. <laughs> um, what's dumb about it is if they're, you're going to re-release Old World, yeah, then nice. re-release it with new models. You're so strong. Re-release it with like cool looking models. Yeah. Instead of like, no, nah, we're going to use the same old resin. It's the same shit. This is how I felt. I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft. When they did WoW Classic, I'm like, oh, WoW Classic's great. Re-release it. You tried so long to get me to play WoW Classic. Yeah, re-release it with like new graphics. It's the it's the rule set that people give a shit about. No, we, you're gonna get version one. <laughs> version <laughs> one. Yeah. So I don't know. It's been it's been rough with Warhammer recently. It's been a tough one. Got old Viking blood. But how about the TV show? How are we feeling about that? I've seen a lot of. I don't know if this was a meme. But I saw then that was half the budget was gone because Henry Cavill wanted people to play, actually play the game. <laughs> really? Yeah, I I I'm, I'm assuming it's a meme, but if it's not, that's fucking hilarious. That's very funny. <laughs> like, oh, you you're on cast. Well, guess what? You got to play the game. You're gonna need to pick a fucking army. <laughs> it's out of the budget. It's fine. Wow, GW is <laughs> loving that. <laughs> Man, um. I've heard things online like people saying, do not make a show about space marines. And Connor said that too. Connor, he had yeah. his thoughts. And I'm like, maybe I, maybe it's because we read the books, but you could do it. The thing is, like, space marines is what Warhammer is. Yeah, like, you could do it. You just have to do it smart. Well, yeah. yeah. The thing is, like, you have to... If you bring in Space Marines, you definitely have to power scale properly. Yeah. They'd have to, like, wreck humans. Yes, they have to, to wreck humans. Degrees. And probably most Xenos, if there's any Xenos even involved. Like, I don't... Yeah. Who knows like, what they do, right? Like, sure. Maybe they do the entirety of Horus Rising. Mm -hmm. And they do murder, and they have fucking little... Insects. No like, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Murlocs. The arachnids or something. I'd really struggle with that one. I hate spiders in movies. <laughs> spiders in real life? Don't bother me. But fucking like, eat them for breakfast. Fucking Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> oh my god, this spider is so big. You can't squash it. <laughs> exactly. That's a big issue for me. <laughs> but uh, it... It can be done well, and I think it can be done fine. You need to really humanize the Space Marines, though. Yes, they have to have an actual personality. And some of them did in the books, but you, mm -hmm. they, it needs to do a better job in the show. Yeah. Um, and having a human, human perspective is very important as well. Uh, but the thing is, okay, so you boil it down. Should they do the Horus Heresy? Is it possible for them to do the Horus Heresy? They definitely not in its entirety. I don't think. I mean, if you're just thinking books, right? Like, you're not going to do all the books. That'd be a fucking nightmare. However, you could do. I think they can do it way better. Honestly, like I think yep. what you do, you can cut a lot of things. It also depends too, like do you what will be canon right like can you have like an animated series that comes out you know like yeah. way before and like a like universe that, yes like a, i think you have to do a MCU universe kind of thing because then you can just in, you can introduce so much you can do it you can do all the is fans <laughs> you can do all the s fans like you can do all the legions like you can there's do so every, much more you can do you can do every cal short story <laughs> Okay, please don't do that. <laughs> you can do every Salamander short story. <laughs> well, they'll just be repeats. They'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just need to release artifacts twice. That'd be great. <laughs> um, I think the way it makes the most sense is you have your books, but throw away the order. Yeah. 
throw away the fact like you shouldn't be like oh we do book one then book two book three book four book that's a bad idea it's a like i it would be so miserable yeah to watch flight of the eyes is like <laughs> like a university of it needs to be well, happening I mean, at the same time it needs yeah, to be almost game of thrones yes where you're transported to different locations focusing on different characters which i mean i think you could definitely do with the first five books mm-hmm. like the first five books would easily be like two like game of thrones seasons because like the best way to describe it. like you have like the you, you set up your settings mm-hmm. and you just follow your character you follow you follow Gara, you follow Loken, you follow Horus. Lucius. Luci- yeah, you better fucking follow Lucius. You better Lucius. follow Lucius. I, I think I like the idea of... I, re- I really do love the idea of starting before the book started. Yeah, I agree. Like I love the idea of giving some setup and some context to not only the Crusade, but also the Primarchs yeah. and their relationships. We got a lot of really good stuff of flashbacks in the Crusade. We got a really good stuff with Ikea, some amazing stuff with Olinor. We got some amazing stuff with, um, uh, oh man, what's the Monarchia? Yeah. Like, let's see that. And yeah. Like, like, see the consequences. Fulgrim, like, tries to do that with Manus and Fulgrim, which at the time, like, it was fine. Yeah. But, like, thinking back on it, like, it doesn't, like, the, the, fa- the battle between Fulgrim and Manus still a, wasn't, like, emotional. Wow. Like, yeah. I can't believe he would do that to his favorite brother. But I would say, like, you can get, you can really pick up interest in the public. Yeah. Not just like Warhammer fans with two seasons of a TV show before the Horse Heresy even picks up. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, like, there's a lot of lore there that's really interesting. And you could develop characters into a Game of Thrones like Faskin to where you're like i hate this person i love this person i can't believe this person did this yeah but you have to be very careful with prime marks in particular because they're like greek gods yeah in the sense that they embody like a very specific negative trait yeah like i think it'd be cool to see like the sep like the whole process of building the prime marks their separation like have like urza in a cloak or something like don't actually show her like show them like her like fucking things up and like they're all getting scattered or maybe write her out of the story one of the that two. would be preferable <laughs> but if we're gonna if it's henry cavill he's gonna follow <laughs> that's so dangerous henry it is there's a lot of i shit. think it'd also be cool to have like have the emperor killing the thunder warriors like yeah show him like maybe not being the greatest guy like a great flashback episode yeah like a whole episode happening in the past of their creation or m- maybe it's the first episode yeah i think that'd be cool like you yeah. have like what are the entire genocide of the thunder warriors and then the birth of the primarchs mm-hmm. and the space marines that because okay, that's the cool that's a really cool part of yeah and it sets up the emperor as not being a great guy all right so let's talk about off of that some major changes that need to happen Change number one. Wrap some shit up. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. <laughs> like, this, like, before the Siege of Terror begins in the TV show, have the fucking battle of um, Dark Angels. Caliban. Caliban, yeah. Do it. <laughs> Don't be like, well, that's for, like, another thing that happens. That Who gives a fuck? Do it because people aren't going to want to watch a TV show. I mean, realistically, doesn't have an ending. If you don't even show it, like if you're not going to do anything with it, don't show don't, it. I don't care. Don't even have Luther as a character. Yeah, don't do it. Or hell, even even you can even create the mystery of it. Like oh, like Luther was there, he's gone. Like I send him back. Yeah, but don't then, show like anything on Caliban. Yeah, like there could always be a spinoff like the show of or luther and his rise on caliban and then like him in the lion conflict or something yeah and if yeah like a in the universe Mm -hmm. i do like that but it's got like when you come to your pinnacle when you come to your infinity war yeah or what's that what's the last in game in game that's it that's over yeah don't do phase seven (laughs) <laughs> that's it well apparently like marvel's like shitting the bet oh yeah the box office well i mean the same for the same reason we have an issue with this series every good story has an ending 
Yep. And Marvel's like, no, we're forever. let's make a new one. <laughs> Good luck. Let's let's reboot it. Re- we'll just reduce. <laughs> Iron Man one. Yeah. Iron Man is going to be. Hmm, who we're we gonna pick? How about the Hemsworth brother? <laughs> What's his name? Not Chris. The other guy. <laughs> I don't even know. The other guy. <laughs> but I mean, that's like that's my complaint with almost everything that's being released now. It's not. It's there's a lot of people that have complaints about things, but I'm like, their stories have endings. Yeah. Like they just rebooted Avatar. I'm like, why? Yeah. And there's... they're gonna do a Avatar after Avatar. I'm like, stop. I mean, like, something like that that's, like, in-universe, like, I'm, like, fine with. Like, I I watched Legend of Korra. Like, Legend of Korra is pretty good. Yeah, it's okay. I liked Korra better than, like, Aang, but I liked the story better of The Last Airbender. Yeah. I mean, I, when we think, you look back at, historically, the best written fantasy novels, okay? The number one ranked of all time is, is Lord of the Rings. Three books. Dude wasn't out. Four if you Hobbit. Uh, technically. <laughs> but I mean, dude wasn't out there to to write insane stories. I mean. I mean, were... Tolkien is what, if it wasn't for Tolkien, we wouldn't have like Game of Thrones or most fantasy You stories. wouldn't have Warhammer. Elves, dwarves, yeah. orcs. All that was invented <laughs> by Tolkien. Uh, so, or at least in our knowledge of them today yeah and you look at some other series some real famous series like wheel of time it finished before it was finished <laughs> that's how much of a finish it had. well the main author died exactly it, it was, was for brandon sanderson being yeah. his pupil i think yeah well now sanderson has like a bunch of different shit going on like apparently he's huge yeah no big yeah and then like but he also is like hey this is i'm writing a six book series yeah is he gonna write a seventh one no i hope not i hope not i, I oh I, I can't say that because i've never read any of these yeah. books it's like it's on my list one of my favorite i think one of my favorite movies of all time is the truman show and the reason it's one of my favorite movies is because the whole point of the show is like you're watching him live his life yeah right he's got all these cameras and there's this whole build up about how he's wanting to seek this girl that lives outside the dome we're like way off topic, but here we go. <laughs> he, want, he wants to see this girl or visit this girl, meet this girl who's outside the dome. He's in love with her. But like the ending. Man, he, the things men will do for women. I know. <laughs> the ending, he leaves the dome. And the movie ends. And the concept's like, oh, well, what, what happens? And all the people like watching are like, what, what's next? And it's like, that's it. Yeah, like the whole point is you don't get to know because he's not being filmed anymore. Like that's perfect. And you look at TV shows of animation today, like Ted Lasso did the same thing. Like uh, Jason Sudeikis was like three seasons. All I'm giving you. Yeah, phenomenally done. I don't know. I just I mean, you think of things like Breaking Bad. Like Breaking Bad had a. I thought it was a good ending. Yeah, your yeah. audience was insane too. Yeah. You have they, they could have Walter gone dying, there. and you have uh, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse just leaving. Like, fuck, holy fuck. Like, it was super good. Really well done. You have a Game of Thrones ending. <laughs> <laughs> Not well done. It's not well done. <laughs> but it ended. <laughs> they can't all be winners. Most of them are not. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but, yeah, so the point is, like, when you design the TV show, it should be, this is the beginning and this is the end. Yeah, it needs to be defined, and then the next thing really needs to be, what do we change? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. The ending was a huge letdown for for me personally. I think for, I, from people I've talked to, I think they feel the same way. You need to be able to write canon without it being canon. Yeah. For as much as people say, well, there is no canon in Warhammer. Well, it's really weird how much they stuck to it. Yeah, it's weird how much money I've spent on books for there not to be canon. Yeah, <laughs> very strange. But also, like, they ha- the writers had to follow this line. Had to yeah. be the exact same thing. Henry, make the Emperor the bad guy. It's fine, because... Perfect. 
It's literally written to be that. Yeah. But no, he's just a he's a good guy. There was our stepfather texting both of us. <laughs> <laughs> We've been uh we have a whole group chat with my family where um the, my stepfather sends us tweets of my brother. <laughs> yeah, where he just says dumb shit. The, <laughs> the dumbest. He, does, tweet he definitely ever. doesn't listen. If he does, they'll know about our secret group chat. Is that the is that what you call people who tweet tweeters? It's not even Twitter anymore. It's X. Xers. He's the <laughs> dumbest Xer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, ch- make make really hone in on the emperor being a bad guy, and it's okay. To be like, yeah, Primarchs are complicated, but it's okay to be like, Vulcan's a good guy. Yeah. But he's following the Emperor, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, is Vulcan being played? Of course he is. That's yeah, I mean, I really think it would be cool having the Emperor killing off the Thunder Warriors. I think it'd be cool having him, like, almost, like, shutting, like, seeing him, like, working on the Webway Project and, like, ignoring everything and, like, saying, like, this is, like, my, my fucking thing. Yeah. Like, if you showed... Although, like, who, like, how do you show the Emperor in TV? Like, do you just have... He's Henry Cavill. It's yeah, story. that, that, I think I came. <laughs> That's Henry Cavill. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking, like, today in 40K, you have people who play Chaos Space Marines. Yeah. Why do people play Chaos Space Marines? Because they look cool. Because they look cool. Look, people in fantasy settings are okay with being the bad guys, but they're going to play what looks cool. Yep. And if Chaos Space Marines were good, the competitive players are going to play Chaos Space Marines. Yeah. End of story. But how much more intriguing would it be if the you know, the whoever's watching this amazon (laughs) tv show is like no i'm like pro horace because he's right and the books try to convey it and then shy away really hard yeah that's like the problem with the books there's they don't ever try to convince us yes it's oh it's just good versus bad i don't just want good versus bad like And what they do almost is just like make everyone just super gray. And it's kind of not, I don't know. The whole thing until you get to the end. Yeah. And then it's, oh no, now we're good and bad. Yeah. You have like, you have all the twists, right? You have the emperor being the fuck, what was he? Chaos. There was a fucking name. Oh, the Dark King. Yeah. We have him be the Dark King. And he's like, hold on, hold on. This old dude that I haven't talked to in a thousand years is fucking right. It's like literally this. the moment where he said, I'm not that complicated. I'm actually the good guy. Yeah. I hated it. I agree. I It would have been so much better if he was the bad guy. Yeah. Like, how much cooler would the story be if it was at, like, the whole thing is literally just a cover-up from Dorn and exactly. Constantine. And, like, you can show. Like, and this is what's so great about this story is, like, exactly what you're saying. You show the genocide yeah of the thunder warriors okay and then everyone in the beginning is like holy fuck the emperor's fucked up yeah and you hear carcassy ignance doing yep. his whole thing you're like that guy's figured it out and then horus has his vision of chaos about the emperor re- elevating himself to a god and you're like i can see it yeah and here's the other things i can see it But then the Emperor takes a backseat, and then you have all these Primarchs, Sanguinius, Dorn, Vulcan, Gilliman, and you're like, well, these, they're, they're good guys. Yep. Angron's not a good guy. (laughs) Conrad Kurz is not a good guy. What do you mean? The guy that's like a serial killer? (laughs) Completely, the Emperor's right. Yeah. Or is he just really good at using tools? Yeah. And at the end of the day, like you can have this serious debate with people that's like, oh, maybe Horace was right. But yeah. you, you can't do that in the books today. No, and because Horace was wrong. 
he gave up his power like an idiot and got beat by him. Spit it out and then try to suck it back. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the fucking South Park episode where they're like shoving food up their ass and they (laughs) shit out their mouth. (laughs) That's what I imagine was happening with the waters. Oh man. (laughs) This is why we're gonna get together. But yeah, I I don't think the horse heresy can be done in like five seasons i think there's too much backstory that you have to establish so your biggest problem with making the horse heresy tv show is going to be it a hundred percent is going to be the amount of characters yeah and the amount of characters the legions like just 20 18 18 18, really yeah and then you have (laughs) (laughs) i think it would almost be cooler just having like a bunch of I think Marvel did it right, right? Like they had like one superhero, they did the thing, and they, they did several like big names, and then they combined like the little ones. Like mm-hmm. I don't think you need like a big thing with like the space wolves. Like you do the story of um Prospero, mm-hmm. right? Like that that's this whole thing, and like that's it. Like you don't have to do like any other like crazy stories with them. We don't need the fucking them fucking in leather. Would you <laughs> would you say that like oh that would be my favorite part? <laughs> would, you, would you say that like they should do the Primarchs like they do superheroes, and then the space maybe not Marines. all of them. See, I I think you can get away with it because Marvel is movies. Well, I, I don't even know if you do the Primarchs, but maybe the Legions. Like I yeah. like the book of Legion, right? Like that epitomizes the alpha legion yeah like i'm like that by itself totally cool with now is that a season worth probably not probably like two or three episodes yeah like a like an episode and a half yeah yeah i would think but that but the thing is that could be going on at the same time as other things if you yeah. go back and forth i really think that if you boil down characters to their simple elements you could get away with 60 characters in the entire series and that's that's doable there's about 60 characters in game of thrones you could have your legions you could have your first captains you can have supporting actors that no one really cares about yeah you can have your you know maybe you've got two or three in this legion maybe you've got a group of humans over here you've got the emperor a few custodians i think you can do it in 60 yeah if you were smart about it like like there is not a single other night lord that needs to exist other than Sevatar. And Amen. just make Sabatar <laughs> the dude that is the Night Lords. Yeah. Like he's the guy. And every time you see the Night Lords, if Conrad Curse is off doing his own thing, it's Sabatar. Scrivaka over there crying somewhere. Scrivaka does not <laughs> exist in the universe. Oh, who's the first on the wall? <laughs> I'm the first inside, right? <laughs> totally. Weren't you being tortured for like thousands of years in the war? It doesn't matter. Well, time is weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, like anytime that you see, like, um, I'm thinking of like the Dark Angels, right? Yeah. There's that one character that's in the second book that's, uh, he's like a bull. What's, I don't even remember his name. You remember what I'm talking about, yeah. though? It's Corswain. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it in a story you can do sahariel you can do um Nimiel, yeah if you want to if you get that deep into it everyone else of course white <laughs> yeah it. i mean really like the hero Nemiel thing like doesn't amount to anything the only ultramarine that matters is steel i i cannot <laughs> think of another <laughs> ultramarine in the story I can't no. remember the psyker's name. I can't remember any of Rubio. the people. Rubio. Well, he's he's a great knight. <laughs> it doesn't count. Fair. <laughs> um, Garo Typhus. That's all you need for the yeah. Death Guard. There's not a single other Grugalor. Fuck that guy. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Get him out of here. Um, Escalon is Raudalron. I don't yeah. know why they're two separate characters. Amit's cool. Bringer of Sorrows, maybe not a thing. Maybe it's also rather <laughs> <laughs> Like, you can boil that shit down. Yeah. Like, we had uh, the dude that saved Corvus Corax that was having dreams. Uh, 
Fuck. I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name either. But he is like, he should be like 40% of your human military people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Titans? Cut them out. <laughs> well, I don't <laughs> even have a show. Titan. <laughs> a TV show would be cool. Maybe, but we just cut them. But like, I don't care about any of them. Listen, let's not do Monarchia. You can't. Or not Monarchia. Um, fuck, what's that planet called? Molek. Let's not do Molek. Yeah, that can easily be written out. <laughs> um, you can take out a book like uh, Titan Death. Useless. The whole point. Beta Gamma was so so good though. What the, do you mean? The whole point <laughs> of Titan Death was to make sure that Titans didn't battle on the Siege of Terra, but then you gave us Mortis. Yeah, this, so they also had piles of Titans. In, piles. in the death. Piles. <laughs> throw it out. Just yep. throw it out. Um, definitely don't do anything that manipulates time and space. Completely rewrite Ruin Storm. Don't do damnation of Pythos. <laughs> don't like I'm not saying that's bad. Just don't do, like make it a spin-off. Yeah. I mean, like, think of like Imperium Secondus. Like, that's a whole season with the stuff. Right? Easy. And a lot of it is a lot of things are just arcs. Mm -hmm. You could do like Imperium Secundus. Like you start with Cal, it can be the uh, betrayer it can be vulcan lives it can be the unribbon empire it can be um a bunch of conrad curs it can also Pharaohs. be um fuck oh, what's that book called uh I can't, the the first one was sanguinous oh um fear to tread yeah it can be fear to tread boom that'd be great yeah you can that literally do this arc. that's the yeah. whole arc do that season. You could be like, and then this is what's happening with these other characters. Yeah. Do Porto Ravo, do Fulgrim, do the Khan, Mortarian. Yeah. We have these sections. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, every fucking crime arc has their opposite. Do those together mm -hmm. and rewrite them. Like, yeah. Talarn should include Fulgrim. Yeah. And it should, like, I don't know. I'm trying to imagine, like, storylines that just are in, like, complete isolation yeah i mean there's a lot of storylines in the beginning but that's okay yeah you have storylines that i think you should completely abandon like nemesis don't do that <laughs> i agree you can make it a little animated thing um i would almost you either you have to you have to go all in or all out yeah. on mars because they went basically in the middle in the books and it, none of it worked. You had a whole Mechanicum thing and it didn't even appear to be... We didn't even get to see the Fabricator General yeah, in siege. the siege. Yeah. It was that so was dumb. weird. Yeah. So you need like either go all in... Fucking Arkham Land cared more about Mars than the Fabricator General did. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's just like we needed some dedication there. But yeah. That's right there. Yeah, let's talk uh the future of the pod. What are you looking at, dude? I'm just trying to see what time we're at here. We are at seven ten. We've been running for about forty minutes. All right, let's cut it. <laughs> future of the pod. Well, um, we're going to become exclusively a My Little Ponies podcast <laughs> review. Fuck My Little Ponies. I was really over with Telly Tuppies. Damn, that that's what I grew up with. I was thinking of like, <laughs> what would be the funniest thing to say we're going to be leaning into after this? We're actually just a straight up X rated Burdoon porn. <laughs> <laughs> the only fans is come to the podcast. It's going to be <laughs> specifically podcast porn. <laughs> we're just going to tell you what we want to be doing. Yes. I would think. I was also thinking maybe we just cover blogging updates from actual bloggers. Loggers. Oh, loggers. People who cut down trees. <laughs> I got an axe in my garage. You don't. I do. You own an axe? I own an axe. There's no way. That axe has never been used. It's that. never been used. <laughs> I it. Look, man, I got some wood outside if I ever want to cut some of my wood. Yeah, I got some wood right here. This is the first episode of the X-rated <laughs> woodcutter. Oh my God, 
it's going to be hot. <laughs> but we are, I think um, our plan is at this point is we're, like we said previously, we're going to start covering um, other book series. Uh, yeah. We're kind of, we're going to grow out of our niche. I think is kind of the thing Like Warhammer is great. We have made a lot of friends mm -hmm. through this, but the lore is not great. And yeah. Like I've I've been reading, I've read the last two Ender Ender Games books. Yeah, I've read four Harry Potter books now, and I don't know about you, but like I've actually enjoyed reading again. Loved it, I've loved it. Like I have not dreaded reading, or yeah. I was with Warhammer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the thing is, I mean, there's a lot that goes into this, but the big thing for me is like what I'm reading is the story. Yeah, and again, there's an ending. It's yeah. not insanely far away <laughs> and i'm not even talking 75 bucks i'm talking like seven actually. eight yeah well not if you can't first child even in warhammer it's it's not 75 it's way more than 75 because it never ended i don't think it, i remember like a few hundred novels yeah but i've also enjoyed the fact that everything i'm reading is canon yeah. And was edited. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, editors matter? Editors apparently matter. Huh. Um, and I like that I'm reading things that I haven't really had a chance to prior yeah. to this. Because before we were reading Warhammer, we were both pretty much in college. Yeah. Um, and that, that I read books that pertain to my schooling. <laughs> I uh, no no free time for reading, and I'm like once we kind of settle down, I, and that's one thing I like about Warmer. It did pique my interest. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, there. the first really the first five books, like I like blew me away. Like I was so excited to like read books, and then like I got the Fulgrim. Fulgrim was really good. Legion was really good. Yeah, and then the first six because Legion was the sixth one. Yeah, yeah. and then like. There were some downers, like you had the Sin of Angel and stuff like that. Thousand Sons. And Thousand Sons was good again. And then like you get the book 40 and you're just like, holy fuck, like we're still going. Yeah. And I I'm also loving the fact that like other books are written by one author. That is nice. And it has nothing to do with like the fact that these authors are bad. It's just you, know, you can't be nudity. You can't be consistent yeah. with multiple authors. And uh, authors are gonna favor certain characters or yep. certain tropes or even certain storylines right like adb will write about the emperor yeah other authors are like, no it's off limits yep like give me some consistency yeah like i've read two books in two weeks or three weeks probably yeah and like yep when it came to the siege like i was just like fuck like i have to read at least 150 pages tonight i was like i don't want to do that i i did a lot of speed reading for the siege and i I'm not saying I skipped anything, but like I definitely was like 1.5 times on the audiobook from time to time. Oh, I never went below 1.2. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime there was a fragment, so I was like, let's speed that up a little bit. 1.75. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Titan bodies. <work. laughs> so that was. Uh... So, yeah. So the plan, I think, are the first thing we're going to do is the lord of the rings yeah i think we're gonna take a little bit of a break it might be a couple weeks till we publish another episode yeah yeah so we've had technically two breaks they're both a week long um this is the first time we're taking like legit break yeah first like, one was a scheduling conflict yeah the second one was we needed to read yeah <laughs> the game was getting rough in yeah we don't want to make four episodes for a book yeah and uh now it's like okay we finished we accomplished the goal that we wanted to um so we're gonna take probably a couple weeks break and then we'll be back and i think first thing like Bill said more of the rings yeah so we'll do the hobbit and then the three books and then i'm gonna pick a series um i probably i think the series i'm gonna pick is the cicero series cicero is that the roman one yes so you're gonna make three me books. read a book that you've already read I want to reread them. That's some bullshit. Well, I actually want to reread them because I've read them in years. Yeah. We've been reading this bullshit. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then, like, after that, either it be Gavin's turn or maybe open it up to the public. Like, yeah. let you guys decide, like, 
Well, probably like I've been like going to do the Witcher series. Um, we I'll, started. I want to do the the Stormlight archives. Yeah, I, I actually started reading a little bit of that. I, I want to get into that. I've heard it's really good. I'll tell you, Brandon Sanderson though, <laughs> he's very good. One of the things that cracks me up, I'm already talking shit about an author. Look at that! Immediately, <laughs> God damn it, it, Gavin. We'll never have Brandon Sanderson on the <laughs> podcast now. The first like few chapters of Stormlight Archive, like one of the things I thought was so funny was like Brandon Sanderson is having some trouble writing from a woman's perspective. He <laughs> 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 was getting a little weird. <laughs> My nipples are very hard right now. He was like, <laughs> like I was just, I'm so flimsy and so beautiful. But <laughs> saying that out loud, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I, just, I don't think that's the, the vibe. <laughs> but yeah, I want to do this from my archives eventually too. Um, I've heard some good things about the Malza. Hand. Yeah, the Malazan. Yeah. Malazan I want to read those. Um, the, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I would love to talk about Harry Potter. There's a billion Harry Potter podcasts out there. I don't want to like become that, but like, there's some weird shit. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, I've I've read. I think I've read all but the last book. You haven't read the last Harry Potter? I don't think so. That's weird to me because, like, the whole time, like, I'm a big Harry Potter fanboy. I I think because like at that point, like, a bit of one in or the Deathly Hallows came out was like high school, like late high school for yeah. me. And it was just like I. Don't have time to read. So they're running all the time. No, I'm just trying to fuck voice. bitches. You were not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. That wasn't a, whatever he just said was like a complete lie. <laughs> I was sleeping with all the girls. I don't know what you mean. They called me Mr. Sexy. I don't know. That, yep, that's it. <laughs> that's the one. Oh, man. Yeah, but we're, well, I think we're going to be uh, exploring some other fantasy pieces and then. I, I do think I'm still trying to get all this together. Oh, I just got a our first image, our first thoughts of our new logo. Okay, this is a live. It's a live. Oh damn. Oh I oh I like that. Like it looks like eyes. It does look like eyes. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. Live, live opinions. I'll, I'll even show it on here. Oh my gosh, you got it on the YouTube. On the YouTube. It says the Heresy Lodge underneath it. That's probably hard to see there. Yeah. What What was the uh, the prompt that you gave him? I told him that we preview review books. That we are mostly probably looking at sci-fi fantasy type of deals. Historically, we did Warhammer, but we're breaking out of that. Hmm. You didn't mention anything about the X-rated book. <laughs> I was expecting to see that in the logo. Yeah, I, I think maybe I'm, in, I'm sad that there's not enough dicks. Maybe you make one of them like the middle one, like a dildo. Can or you a add a plug. dick to this? If we made Ooh, one, of three butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> that I honestly would be phenomenal if I ever saw that logo. <laughs> So we'll see. That's the final version. But that's your uh, sneak peek here on the on the tube. There you go. Yeah, we're getting into it. Mm -hmm. Gavin, anything else you want to talk about? I just want to say, what a what an adventure it's been. It has been. It's been fun. We've met a lot of very interesting people. Not all of them, them have been cool. A lot of them have been cool. A lot of them, but not all of them. <laughs> I mean, every community. Yeah, I mean, we've we've had some like. Awesome people that we've met, like Daniel, Raptor, Trainwreck, Wath, Beth, uh, Ballin, Luke, Luke. Ah, oh, I missed that guy. Is he still around? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I've not been on the Discord. Uh, we have Cody. Like we've we've met some awesome people. We've had people leave, which has always been sad. There's been some bummers. Some bummers. Cloth left us, but man, I, he'll always live in my heart. Cloth was the great. Australian motherfucker. Yeah. So many crazy pictures in the Discord from Australia. Yeah. That and like, he was a big history buff. Like, just like, sure. literally, like, every, like once a week, he was like posting like random history. And I was like, wow, that's fucking interesting. And like, when we set off to do this, you know, it was the heresy 
the Horse Heresy series. And like, I don't, I never, I don't, when we first started, I don't think I knew how many <laughs> books that there were. I think we knew, but it was like, so, I don't think we ever saw ourselves finishing. So far out of there. And like, the goal that I had initially was just to hang out. Which I think is still the goal. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, here we are. I still like Dylan. <laughs> I didn't think that that was going to happen this after mother- 170 episodes. This motherfucker may be his best man on video for this podcast. I Oh my god, that happened. That did happen. That's a bummer. <laughs> I am no longer the best man. <laughs> no, it's not true. I'm sure that it's like, it's like a few people was like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> we broke up. <laughs> his his wife doesn't like me anymore because of the live filming. <laughs> I'm anticipating a text any minute. Are you still up there? <laughs> I, I did get are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh man. But yeah, um it's been it's been a trip. And uh thank you for everyone who is with us today. Yeah. Hopefully you stay around. I know like most of you join because of Warhammer, but broaden our horizons yeah. together. Let's yes. do it. Let's do that. Um the Discord has a monthly book club. I have joined it for this month. I don't know if Gavin's gonna end up joining it, but no. check it out. Like why not, right? Let's let's have some fun together, let's read different shit. Um get in on the community talk a lot of shit apparently that's a thing people like to do on discord is talk shit about me which i get which is super easy because you don't read it it's and it works (laughs) it works very well so that's it guys that is the end of the death of the heresy lodge we'll be back three weeks from now technically yeah Yeah. um are do do we continue doing previews or do we only do reviews i think we'll fix i mean it's a whole nother it's another chapter. Yeah, it's a whole other chapter. So we'll tell you what. When you come back, we'll let you know. <laughs> I I don't know if we do previews just because a lot of the series we're gonna do are probably done books. Yeah, but I'm excited to have conversations about books that may have already had adaptations. Yeah. And see like how that worked out. Yeah, so next time you see us, guys, that'll be season two, technically. See oh god then we'll tune in for the next 170 episodes <laughs> god if we if we drag up lord of the rings that long i don't know if we can make the end of the friends. death of the return of the king volume <laughs> one <laughs> yeah, it'll be a rough rough time yeah, all we're going to break up all the extended so we'll start with the books and we'll do the extended versions of the tv show or the movies and then we'll do the tv show the, the TV rings TV of power <laughs> Bam. and then we'll do the similarly and each chapter is its own podcast yes <laughs> it'll be great it'll be beautiful Good time so guys we'll be back here in a few weeks hopefully you have enjoyed our time together um please stick around you know let us know what you want to what you want us to read um what you want us to talk about yeah i mean we're gonna be here we're probably i don't foresee a lot of specials at this point because Every we're gonna be special. doing new stuff yeah Hopefully it keeps us interested, it keeps you interested, and... Yeah, and keep a lookout for the YouTube. There may be some stuff coming in the future on things that we're going to add. Yeah, whether it's playing games or... Gavin's working on his own game right now, which could be super cool. It It might suck ass. I'm probably going to lean towards sucking ass, but we'll see. If I was a betting (laughs) man... (laughs) Yeah, um... So bets on Discord are two to one. Make sure you put your votes there and send me your money on Venmo. We're considering it basically like buying stock. Yes. (laughs) We'll find out, guys. Have a good one, and we'll be back in a few weeks.